Hey there Taurus! Welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy my readings, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if this reading resonates with you, please leave me a comment and let me know. So today we've got the hangman in what's crossing you. So the hangman is basically in suspended animation. He's unable to move forward at this time and so um, this comes from the crucifixion, the points of divinity, cross or gallows, the martyr, seemingly sacrificial, entranced or enlightened. So um, basically whatever it is that you've been trying to accomplish, you're unable to do it at this time. So you're going to have to wait until time passes so, you know, if you're a person who's used to going and going and now all of a sudden you are unable, then you might be finding yourself in this situation where you're in suspended animation. So, basically, you just kind of have to wait it out and um, let go of something, whatever it is that's crossing you. Let go of it and, or at least open up to new a new door okay and under your narcissist card we've got the harem which a lot of um, narcissist videos on YouTube talk about the harem garage but it doesn't necessarily have to be associated with your exes most people who talk about the harem on YouTube are talking about the group of people which a narcissist calls when they get in a bind or their mm -hmm. supply. So the supply runs out and you know they're gonna possibly call you back or try to get in touch with you. Um, so watch out for the harem. Basically it is like the flying monkeys of the witch from the Wizard of Oz. Someone to do her dirty work for her. All right, and then for your um, manifestation card, we've got attraction and naturally attracted. So you may um, be having some issues with this because this is underneath the section of what's crossing you. So attraction um, in manifestation is basically the law of attraction states that whatever you put out you will get back so make sure that you're putting out positive good vibes and that is what you will receive tenfold so under your past we've got the page of swords upright and this represents delayed news ideas from this person are likely to bring inspiration all right so the page of swords and then underneath your recent past, we have lack of empathy for your narcissist card. So the opposite of an empath is a narcissist. So if you're finding yourself lacking empathy for something that you used to, you know, you or someone that you love might be going through this. Uh, it could be just a phase. Um, sometimes you really have to force yourself to put yourself in other people's shoes in order to overcome. All right, and exercise. So in your recent past, strength cardio and strength training may have been something that you put a lot of time and exercise into. Um, basically, this is very, very good for manifestation. Um, basically, it's going to give you stronger, um, a stronger body as well as more confidence. And so, of course, that's going to help you manifesting. Because the more confidence you have, the less um, trouble that you'll have, most for the most part. <laughs> Alright, so for your immediate future, we've got the Three of Pentacles reversed. And this card is talking about, normally it's talking about a hard worker, harmony, but because it's reversed, there's going to be a lack of harmony, um, a need to lead and follow, isolation, 
lack of motivation, problems of being isolated, which that's, um, that's kind of similar to the hangman card, which is, you know, you're being suspended animation, you can't move, you can't do what you want to do, you're stuck. So, um, well, what are we going to do to overcome that? So it shows here that there's a narcissist in your life who may be dealing with addiction. Or it could be you. If you're struggling with addiction, then, um, you know, there's a ton of things that you can do to overcome addiction. Um, detoxification is definitely, I would say, a good start. Um, if it is you, if it's someone that you love, you know, you can, you can try to help them. And what can we do as far as our manifestation card goes? It says clear your chakras. And how do you do that? Well, quartz crystals are one way to clear your chakras. And, um, you know, basically you just take your quartz crystals and you can charge them in the sun or the moonlight. And... You know, just wear your quartz necklace um, or even put it next to your bed at night. So let's go ahead and move on to your truth. We've got the Knight of Swords reversed. It says, be aware of confidence misplaced. All right. So with the Narcissist card, we've got emotions. All right, so there might be someone in your life who is um, letting their emotions get to them, or it could be you. And what can we do about it? Well, it says in the manifestation deck, old phase out and moon manifesting. Moon manifesting. All right, so there's a ton of different ways that you can go about moon manifesting, but basically um, a lot of people just, you know, during the full moon or new moon, depending on whatever you're trying to manifest, you can write down your manifestations in a journal and write down everything that um, you want to achieve. All right, and some people do it within the moon cycle, like they'll set a goal at the beginning of a new moon and then see if it comes to pass before the next new moon comes around. All right, and that's because there's so much more, um, you know, vibes coming in during that time. The, the planets definitely affect us and the moon as well. So for your final outcome, we've got the Ace of Pentacles which is an earth signs, could be you, and it says that you might be getting new solid gains, new beginnings, a new job, a new house, possibly an inheritance, um, but whatever it is, it could cause a domino effect, so you might need you might have a need to get a new job or new goals due to whatever this new beginning that you turn over is might change some of your lasting goals. Um, be sure to introduce something new into your life. It could be even a marriage or a child. All right, and that's your final outcome for your... Um, Narcissist card, we've got a dependent narcissist. So, narcissists basically, um, they can become dependent. Most narcissists are not dependent, though. They are usually very overt narcissists are going to be, you know, on the top of the food chain. So, it is kind of an oxymoron to see a dependent narcissist. But it does happen. Sometimes um, you get a dependent narcissist who can't overcome their situation. And um, then it becomes yours. <laughs> All right. So the final outcome card for your manifestation is yogic love.
which is basically love like the the yogi master is the yoga the person who teaches yoga is the yogi master and the yogic love is going to be like agape love like the high vibing love possess the power to create in your mind a good state all right so you have to put your mind into a good positive state and that might take a little manifestation. All right. So Taurus, I hope this resonates with you. Um, you have a wonderful day and be sure to like and subscribe. If this does resonate with you, please let me know in the comments below. All right. You all have a wonderful day and come back and see me next week.